Hello, my name is Carrie Ann Ings and this is Sat TV Technology Update. While measuring the amount of fuel remaining in a fuel tank on Earth is easy, doing the same on a satellite in orbit is much more complicated. One Swedish company, Nanospace, has developed a concept for this purpose. The company, based in the Angstrom Lab in Uppsala, is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Swedish Space Corporation and develops microsystem components for space vehicles. Since 2007, Nanospace has been developing a propellant gauging system for spacecraft and the European Space Agency, ESA, has invested 2.75 million US dollars in the continued development of the system, a project which will be managed by Nanospace and involve partners in Germany, Norway and France. The propellant of a telecommunication satellite in orbit is normally enough for 15 years operation. When it runs out of propellant, the satellite is replaced. With the uncertainty in presently used gauging systems, a six-month margin is typically needed when taking a satellite out of operation. With a more precise gauging system, the operational time could be extended. A working satellite in orbit could be worth well over US$100,000 a day. A system that contributes to more reliable planning and extended satellite lifetime could be very valuable for satellite owners, according to Tor Arne Grunland, CEO of Nanospace. Pell Rangston, Head of Engineering and Project Manager at Nanospace, said that one difficulty is the weightlessness, which causes the liquid propellant to virtually fly around the tank. As in all space business, the requirements for accuracy and reliability are also extremely high. Nanospace already has a patent for the propellant gauging system, one important aspect on which ESA based its decision. Nanospace also has a leading position in Europe in its field, microelectromechanical systems for space applications. Among other projects, the company has delivered advanced rocket thrusters for the Swedish Prisma Satellites project, which is part of a programme to develop and qualify new technologies necessary for future science missions in space and scheduled to be launched in March 2010. Thank you for watching.